the dad body is back. Yeah. It is in. All it's that ab shit. Then. Screw that, man. We're talking it's about not. get a keg and enjoy. Uh, just shredded <laughs> over here. Just 45-year-old shredded animal, Josh Thompson uh, versus my God. The, t- the Teletubby <laughs> over there. Teletubby, I love it's it. crazy, though. It's crazy to think that these guys... Some of the best athletes in the fight fight game right now are these guys. And don't get me wrong, we've had these guys in the past. You have, first off, you've had Fedor, you know, yeah. uh, of Igor Vichenshin. Someone brought that up to me because I sent Igor a, I sent a text. Wasn't, yeah, he's a stud. No, he was chubby. Because I, I, I sent a text to DC. I said, hey, why don't you put some respect on Fedor's name, man? I said, he was the one that laid the groundwork for the dad bod for you. Oh, yeah. I'm like, he's the guy that said that dad bods could be great fighters. You need to be happy with the fact that he laid the ground for you. Dude, it was for you and for Kung Tyson Fu Fury. Panda wouldn't have been Kung nothing Fu compared Man. to Fedor didn't fucking you know lay the groundwork. I said he was you before you were you, buddy. That's really what it was. He was, he was you know, guy. this is the thing. And look, I have all the respect in the world for DC. He is phenomenal. But DC needs to just go back, uh, you know, a couple of years when he was no. fighting in Strike Force and he sucked, according to all the. <laughs> The casual oh, UFC yeah. fans because he wasn't fighting in the UFC. Oh, Look, yeah. DC's making a huge mistake saying that Fedor would have been average. Okay? People said that DC yeah. was going to be average too. He wasn't average. No. And Fedor wouldn't have been average. And Fedor, he was right when he said Fedor would have come in and he would have wrecked Brock Lesnar. He would have wrecked him. Okay? Yeah. It wouldn't even have been close. You know, uh, same thing that you saw from Kane, you would have seen from Fedor. Just worse because he's got stand up power that even Kane does not have. Yeah, so, Kane didn't have power. No. And there wasn't any heavyweights that he could not have beat. Now, could he have beat Kane? I yeah, he could have beat him. Do I think that was a good matchup for him? No, I I I like Kane in that matchup at that time. But if you go back and you're looking and you're saying, look at look at all of the fighters that Fedor beat that were champions in the UFC. If you if you look at it, you know, <clears throat> you got to take some of them multiple times because he fought like Mark Coleman twice. He fought Antonio mm-hmm. Nogueira uh, basically three times, but it was two because one got called for no contest on a, on a clash of heads that was a cut. Mm-hmm. He lost to one. That was Fabricio Verdum, and that was the yeah. guy that ended his streak. So if you say out of 10 fights against UFC champions, Heavyweight champions. He was 8-1-1. One, and one. Yeah. Yeah, that's a guy that's going to do average. Stop. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> you're just sounding like yeah. you're being a, a homer for the UFC when there's no reason. It's okay. For. Which it's, is okay. But there's no, just, there's no reason for it right. because you were in that same position. And it's you got to give due where due is deserved. And DC was a phenomenal fighter. Phenomenal athlete. Put on, had a great career, but how many times did DC fight? Um, you know, what's his record? Twenty. Let's say talk, maybe he fought twenty-five times, if that. Mm. Fedor's fought forty-six times, forty-seven. Yeah. Okay, he fought tw- twice as much as you, dude. And take a look at his record: twenty-eight first-round finishes. Stop with the average. That's not. That will never be average. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Uh, I agree. On, I agree with you on that stuff. Um, I, I think really what's getting lost in this whole thing, though, John, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna be the guy that's gonna be the the calm voice in this situation, okay? Because I can see that you've gone <laughs> over the top already. <laughs> I would be I'll me. be the calm voice. It really just comes down to a lot of people look at Fedor, and it's what have you done for me lately? And that's really what it comes down to. That goes for every sport. They compare what he, what he, and like, oh, who did he beat? Somebody actually put a tweet out, and I was like, what are you talking about? Oh they said, well, God. if he would have came to the UFC when he was younger, oh, like, then Jesus. he would, then he would, he would have had to challenge himself. I said, do you forget he fought Semi Schilt, who was seven two? He fought Ricardo Arona. These are all guys in their prime. Semi Schilt was fighting in, in K one kickboxing, knocking dudes he was, out. He was the Grand Prix champion. How many times? Yeah, exactly. I'm like, he got tired of being the Grand Prix champion, decided to come over and fucking be the champion over. Or try to be a champion in pride, and Fedor beat him. Merco, when he was fucking knocking everybody out, crushing you know, he's people, crushing guys, you know. And so, like, oh, when he would have came when he was when he was, uh, if he wanted to challenge himself. And I want people to remember back then, 
the UFC didn't have a lot of top heavyweights. That's why Strike Force had all uh, Strike Force had all the best heavyweights at the time. They actually rejuvenated the heavyweight division in the UFC. I think that, and when I had heard around and talked to people that worked for the UFC, that one of the biggest reasons why they bought Strike Force is because they had a lot of the top heavyweights. They also kind of thought the deal with Fedor would have came with it, but it oh, yes. didn't because of the situation. But um, because they were trying to get Fedor in the Pride deal also when they bought Pride, and Fedor's right. contract said that it always, if it was sold, that he got an out. Here, and I so, just just look at it this way: if they're, you know, if you're going to go with, take a look at how hard. The UFC, especially Lorenzo Fertitta, tried to get Fedor. Offered him more money than any other fighter they had ever had at that point. Mm-hmm. Okay, you don't do that with someone that you expect to be average. Okay? Yeah, and, and at happen. the time they didn't have anyone that could really beat him. Um, no. Like Frank Mir is their champion at that time was not going to beat him. He could he didn't have the wrestling to take him down, and we saw that even when he was at forty two years old, he was able to hip toss Frank. I know yep. Frank wasn't the fighter he was when he was younger, but Frank never had the wrestling to get the takedown. Nobody in the UFC, and I'm not being, and this is I'm just being honest. Nobody in the UFC at that time in the heavyweight division had the skill set to beat him. Randy Couture was probably potentially the only one that could have got him to the ground, but when it came to the submissions and the punching power. Fedor had both of those. So when people talk to me, because I'm really good friends with DC and I'm really good friends with, with Kane, and I'm not, I'm definitely not saying that they would have beat him. I'm saying that it would have been one of those fights. And when I look at Fedor in his past, and in, in the past, not now, don't look at the Fedor of now. Don't get me wrong, he had a great performance last night. Yeah. Don't look at that. Look at the fact, look at the fact is when he fought guys like Hungman Choi, who were seven something feet, and he found a way to beat him. Mirko Krokov, who was knocking everyone out with head kicks. Ricardo Arona, who had wrestling, was one of the best jujitsu practitioners on the ground at the time. They didn't stand a chance. He, he had, he had systematically dismantled them in whatever that they thought they were good. Noguera. He took Noguera down, sat in his guard for the whole fight and just, obliterate him, him made him look like the um, the elephant man at the end of those fights he looked so bad and then that then that noguera still went on to become ufc heavyweight champ that's right after, that, so when people like after when, so when crushed says, him twice twice and that's my point my point is when you say he would have been average that's a, that's a low blow i get what dc is trying to do i understand but I, I just I, I don't think it's fair. And when I look at when you look at what Kane and DC did after the Fedor run and all of those things, it's not fair because Fedor had also been unmotivated probably towards the end. Remember at the time he was trying to find places to fight that weren't the UFC because because of what was going on. He didn't like he didn't the way like that Dana. Dana did business. He didn't like Dana. He didn't like the way Dana. I think I think had Dana not got involved, I think him and Lorenzo would have had a fantastic relationship. Absolutely, absolutely. I think it would have happened. Yep. But D- Dana just the things that he had previously said just ruined all the deals that they potentially could have had, yeah. and that 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 that, that was, happens, man. But that was Dana being that's the, a, look. That's Dana being a promoter, and you mm-hmm. can't you, you know everyone takes you know, and, and I'm not saying this you know against him at all. This is his job. Is yeah. I need you to I need to make you believe that what I have is the very best. It's the shiniest car out there. It's the best. It does everything. And that's his job. And so when he was putting when he was saying Fedor sucked, that didn't it didn't help him later on when they weren't trying to sign Fedor because Fedor didn't forget it. And he was yeah. like, Oh, really? You know, and so yeah, you know, it's just a matter of it would have been nice to see him compete in the UFC. I would have loved it. Yeah. But it never happened. And that was based upon He's got he's got values and he's got a belief system that I don't need you. And he was right. No. He's had a great career and he hasn't needed them. 